Hello everyone, you are on the Moby channel. In this video, I will analyze for you the second chapter of the Skibbity Toilet series. The second chapter includes episodes 39 to 59. We will remember with you all the highlights and reveal some secrets that we did not see when we first watched the episodes. Be sure to like it, let's get 2000 likes on this video, and also subscribe to the channel. We're starting. The second chapter of the Skibbity Toilet series begins with episode 39, in it we were shown the TV man agent in detail for the first time, if we briefly describe this episode, then we can say that after the next defeat of the cameraman agents over Skibbity Toilet, a mysterious kind of TV man's agents came to the rescue, they have hypnotic study that controls the mind of Skibbity Toilets, and thanks to to this agent, cameraman win in this episode, then in episode 40, TV man's agents show us their small squad, we used to think that this was only a small part of the TV man's army, but according to the campaign of the series, we understand that there are very few TV man's agents, and what this is connected with is still unknown, TV man's agents in episode 40 demonstrate the power of a large TV man agent, his abilities are blinding radiation, which is why this agent has 5 TV screens. As I understand it, each type of TV man agents has its own radiation, an ordinary TV man agent has blue hypnotic radiation, a large TV man agent has white blinding radiation, a Titan TV man is red, and TV woman has two radiations, orange and pink, but we will talk about these agents later when we get to the right episode. Returning to episode 40, we can assume that perhaps that is why the agents of TV mans gave the cameraman a protective lens, not so that hypnosis would not affect them, but in order not to blind the cameraman agents, I also completely forgot to disassemble the secret messages of TV mans, in episode 39, the agent of TV man says this show will be long. Perhaps this agent is trying to tell us with these words about the whole series as a whole that it is more mysterious than it seems, like the agents of TV man themselves, in episode 40 the agent says you need to leave. He warns the agent that a big TV man agent is coming behind him and now he will use strong blinding radiation. And in order for TV man not to blind the cameraman, another agent of TV man gives him a protective lens. In episode 40, the agents also win. In episode 41, the TV man agent says wear protection. He reminds us that we need to put on a protective lens, because now there will be a very strong hypnosis or powerful radiation. Agent cameraman puts on a protective lens and then the Titan TV man appears for the first time. Titan utters the phrase all toilets die. And with his red blinding and hypnotic radiation, he forces opponents to self-destruct. After another victory over the toilets, the operator turns to TV man and he shows us a kind smiley face. The only thing I still don't really understand in this episode is this mysterious red object. What is it intended for and what is its role in this episode? If you know something about this object, then write about it in the comments under this video, also do not forget to write your theories. We continue. In episode 42, TV man's prove to the scientist cameraman that they no longer need weapons, because there are TV mans on the side of the agents, TV people demonstrate their abilities, from this episode we learn that the radiation of TV man allows you to cure infected agents from the skibbity parasite. But also in this episode, the toilets create a silent enemy and steal a protective lens. In episode 43, the agents again want to demonstrate their superiority over the toilets and show the cameraman agents how they easily cope with skibbity toilets, but this time the TV man's radiation does not affect the opponents, all because in the last episode the protective lens was stolen and the toilets created a similar lens for themselves. TV man's pronounce the phrase shit happens. And they simply teleport to a safe place for themselves, leaving the agents alone with the opponents. It's good that the scientist cameraman took a laser on parasitic cannon with him and was with them. Plunger cameraman. It is in this episode that these two characters find friendship. Episode 44 begins rather mysteriously, because immediately a dark sitcom similar to the agent of TV man catches the eye, but its screen does not light up. This moment still remains mysterious, because we still don't know who it was. Next, a squad of fleeing toilets destroys the Titan TV man. A serious opponent is coming at him. This is a skibbity toilet with mechanical paws like Dr. Octopus from the movie Spider-Man. You can also notice protective glasses on it. But the Titan TV man enters the battle, breaks his glasses and uses his powerful red radiation from which this opponent explodes, then the Titan is attacked by more powerful opponents and he utters the phrase incoming. This means that he will destroy these opponents very soon. Next, the speakers of the speakers join the Titan and it gets a small upgrade. 
he activates his powerful red radiation again, complementing it with the loud sound of the speakers. He destroys the upgraded opponents and then they show us the infected Titan speaker man. The camera turns back to the Titan TV man and he shows this smiley face on his screen. The next 45 episode does not start calmly enough. Here, for the first time, we were shown a secret agent who began to appear very often in the series. Immediately we were shown the plunger of the cameraman, and then the epic begins in the episode. Titan TV man steps on the infected Titan speaker man and says the phrase come here. Titan speaker man tries in every possible way to dodge and attack him, but the Titan TV man's armor is very strong and he does not intend to retreat. As soon as the Titan TV man saw the skibbity parasite on the neck of the Titan speaker man, he tried to destroy it. But he missed and accidentally tore off part of his speakers to the infected Titan. Next, the infected Titan flies away, the Titan TV man shows us his displeased smiley face and he teleports after him. Next comes episode 46. In it, the main character is also the Titan TV man. The secret agent reappeared in the same episode. The infected Titan quickly flies through this location and the opponent of TV man Titan in this episode is a skibbity mutant who has no eyes, and the camera tells him the direction, which sometimes appears to him. The mutant is riding at full speed on the Titan. But TV man stops him, then the mutant try to wound the Titan with his sharp mechanical knives, but thanks to the upgrade of the Titan TV man, he was able to prevent the attack on himself with the help of a speaker that is on his chest, with a sound wave. Then he stuck his sharp mechanical claws into the mutant's head and uttered the phrase disgusting. Further, the mutant from the damage received falls to the ground, the Titan TV man, pleased with himself, moves after the infected Titan, and the cameraman agents, who were sucked into the mouth of the mutant, got out safely. Next we move to episode 47. It begins with the infected Titan flying past the operator on whose behalf we are watching. Next, the Titan TV man teleports to this place, looks around and utters the phrase I facing trap. Next, we see how the Titan G toilet enters the battlefield and there is not a fair fight between the Titans, because the Titan TV man was alone, and his allies helped G toilet, and in the end, when the Titan TV man almost defeated the main villain of the toilets, the infected Titan speaker man stabbed him in the screen and thereby deprived him of his most important weapon. Next. Titan TV Man also tried to infect Skibbity with a parasite, but he managed to teleport. Next, G Toilet notices the operator and shoots lasers at him, but his camera continues to work and we again see a secret agent who apparently picks up broken agents, but what he does with them is unknown. Next comes episode 48, which shows us the life of the agents after they didn't have a single Titan left to help them, but despite this they adapted to these conditions. Here, for the first time, we are shown the teamwork of two agents, this is the plunger of a cameraman and a scientist. Together they successfully deal with opponents and in this episode you can also see the secret one for a second. An agent who is watching what is happening. Next, we see how the plunger cameraman successfully dealt with a detachment of toilets, but then a new skibbity toilet appears, this is a saw toilet. Who tried to destroy the main characters of this episode. Plunger cameraman was able to escape, but he was unlucky. Then we move to episode 49, we are immediately shown the whole house what toilets are doing, and from the first frames we see G Toilet, which continues to destroy the city. They also show us a cameraman agent who was badly injured in battle, he shows a dislike, saying that things are bad for them. Next, the operator is attacked by a skibbity cyborg and tries to destroy the operator, but then, after a long absence, TV man's agents appear along with a new TV woman agent. TV woman shows all her new abilities, this is a fiery radiation that burns the enemy, then she can hack opponents and be a parasite for them, and when they are surrounded. She turns on her pink glow, attracts the cameraman agent to her and moves him to a safe place, to the secret base of cameraman agents. TV mans also did not forget about the severely wounded cameraman, they also moved him to a safe place. Episode 49 ends with the fact that we are shown the logo of the Titan cameraman. Episode 50 begins immediately with action. After all, a large army of skibbity toilets attacks the base of cameraman agents, everyone flees in the hope of escaping. Only one legendary plunger cameraman is not afraid of them and goes straight to them. The toilets were already anticipating victory, but then an improved titan suddenly appeared with cameras and showed us the real power of the titan, he easily dealt with every kind of opponents. And he also very epically demonstrated to us his new ability to spew blue flames from his improved reactor. He destroyed all the opponents. 
he showed the legendary light to all operators and flew on to clear the cities from opponents. Cameraman's agents all went outside together and showed the Titan alike. 51 episodes are shown to us from the first person of the Titan cameraman. He also shows us all his new abilities. One of the interesting things in this episode is that the plunger cameraman is now working together with the Titan cameraman. Titan saw bravery in him and now they are working together. Episode 52 begins with Skibbity Toilet destroying the agents, but fortunately the plunger cameraman came to the rescue and saved the operator. Also in this episode, the Titan cameraman appears, who rescues cameraman agents' helicopters from flying Skibbity Toilet, but also in this episode a secret agent appears and a secretive message stating that the main enemy is and it is impossible to further disassemble. Later in this episode, we are shown the second female character for the first time, this is Camera Woman. Her abilities are aimbot. She easily deals with the squad of toilets that attack them in this episode. And cameraman engineers come out of the helicopter chambers and treat the injured agents. Episode 52 ends with how camera woman easily deals with opponents and plunger cameraman thanks her for it. Episode 53 begins epically, agents began to attack skibbity toilets, because they have their titan cameraman, camera woman and plunger cameraman with them. They successfully attack and destroy opponents. But then, out of nowhere, a completely new kind of skibbity toilets appears, as we will learn from future series, this is a kind of astro toilets. He destroys the big agent of the speaker man and directs his gun at the plunger of the cameraman, he, in turn, is not afraid and also steps on the enemy. But then the titan cameraman appears and tries to destroy the new UFO astro toilet, but he turns out to be very fast and quickly disappears. Next, the titan cameraman calls for an army of cameramen, the camera turns and we see a new invention of cameraman scientists, these are tanks. And also agents can notice new guns. Then episode 54 begins, in which we were first shown an agent cameraman who fell in love with TV woman, and most likely in episode 49 TV woman saved this agent. He is so passionate about watching TV woman photos on his tablet that he doesn't even notice skibbity toilet passing by. The operator makes a remark to him, he removes the tablet and the toilet attacks the operator, then the operator directs a paralyzing cannon at him, shoots and immobilizes the enemy. Next, the agents are attacked by a skibbity spider, but it is easily eliminated by a large cameraman agent. And then we see the unexpected return of Glitch Toilet. He quickly blows the agent's heads off and when the turn comes to the enamored cameraman, TV Woman appears. Glitch Toilet demolishes the head of TV Woman, but he does not know that her head can work separately from the body. Then she turns on her pink glow and attracts the Glitch Toilet to her when it freezes. A paralyzing dart flies into it. The camera turns and we see a mechanical scientist cameraman. According to assumptions, this is the same scientist from episode 48 who is a friend for the plunger cameraman. TV woman thanks the scientist and teleports away. The cameraman in love tries to hug her and thank her for saving him, but does not have time to do it. Next comes episode 55. In it, we were shown how an army of cameraman agents is on the offensive against toilets. Also at the beginning of the episode, we were shown the plunger of the cameraman, who looks very tired. Opponents tried to prevent the agent several times, but then when Astro Toilet attacked cameraman helicopters and Titan cameraman was distracted, an unusual and strong opponent appeared, this is a skibbity skeleton that spits acid. And he was able to destroy one of the agent's main weapons, their tank. As soon as the Titan cameraman saw what was happening, he immediately came to the rescue and destroyed the skeleton skibbity, but at the same time sacrificed his railgun. Episode 56 begins very energetically, right from the first seconds we see how a cameraman in love beats Skibbity Toilet, but for a better understanding I will insert here my detailed analysis of episode 56, after which there will be an analysis of the longest episode, episode 57, next episodes 58 and 59. The episode begins with how the romantic agent, I'm so used to calling him, beats Skibbity Toilet, and in this episode one can say with confidence that this is the same cameraman agent from episode 54 who is in love with TV woman, in the background we can also see cameraman who calmly flushes the enemy in the toilet. The camera turns a little and we see a very strange frame, apparently this cameraman agent likes to have fun and let's give him a name, I suggest we call him a playful cameraman, we go further, the camera turns a little and we see the TV man agent who hypnotizes skibbity toilet, then his left palm turns into a knife and destroys the enemy and just a second later, another opponent runs up from behind, 
but the TV man agent turns his head 180 degrees and also plunges his knife into the opponent's head, thereby destroying him. Also during the battle, he utters the phrase shut up. I think the agents of TV Mans were very angry at Skibbity Toilet for almost killing their titan. Previously, TV Mans used only their radiation as a weapon, but now they have a hidden knife. And in this episode, we learned that their head can rotate 360 degrees, perhaps TV Men agents have received the same upgrade as TV Woman and their head can now also be used as a parasite for Skibbity Toilets. Then the camera turns and we see three cameraman agents, behind them you can see what's left of the spider's skibbity. It can also be assumed that these agents are in the same location as in the last 55 episode. After all, in the description of this episode, the author did not specify the map, the same thing happened in episode 55. But it seems to me that I found this map in the Steam Workshop, I will leave a link to the map in the description and those who have the game Gary's mod will be able to study it later. The agent shows us his light and you can see a broken small lantern on it. I assume that this agent was infected earlier, but he was saved and now he is back on the side of the agents. Next, we hear a signal sound, the operator takes out a tablet and we see that a message has come to his tablet that their tank has been destroyed, and this is just the same tank from the last 55 episode. Let me remind you that the tank destroyed the new Skibbity Toilet Skeleton, and he destroyed it with a new weapon, Acid. You can read more about the last episode in my analysis of episode 55. The video has now appeared in the upper right corner. But we're going back to episode 56. On the tablet, you can also notice this inscription cameraman 1247. I will assume that this is the serial number of this agent. Or they are references to past episodes, specifically to episode 12 and 47. Perhaps the author is trying to tell us that in these episodes we saw everything that was happening on behalf of this cameraman agent or these numbers need to be added together and then we get the number 59. But what does episode 59 have to do with it? We will talk about this later, but now we continue the analysis. The camera turns to the TV man agent and he utters the following phrase this means you had one job. I'll assume that he teleported to another squad of cameraman agents, or else went to TV woman for help. But the episode does not end there either because a moment after the deportation of TV man, an unknown object attacks a detachment of cameramen, we hear a very loud roar and see one of the agents running out of the alley on fire, followed by another strong explosion and from a large puff of black smoke we see the yellow glow of the reactor and realize that he has returned infected Titan speaker man. We see that our theory turned out to be correct, because the Titan speaker man has really been improved, it has become much bigger and more powerful. You just compare what he was and what he has become. Next, he shows us his new upgrade. He has two new explosive cannons. I will assume that this gun is similar to the one that UFO Toilet has, then he shoots them and throws our operator away for some distance, he gets up and sees his entire squad of cameraman agents fleeing and he also decides to run and escape, but not all of them manage to escape, because Titan Speaker Man is very fast. He found our operator and used his new ability on him, this is a very loud roar that caused the operator to fail. This is the end of this episode 57 begins with three cameraman agents and a cameraman on the roof. They hide and watch what is happening on the street. The operator comes closer and from his face we see how the infected titan speaker man destroys everything in his path, because of the skibbity parasite that has been around his neck since episode 32, the titan speaker man absolutely does not control himself because he is controlled by his opponents, under the influence of the parasite he destroys his own allies, the same and it happened in episode 57, he coolly destroys a large agent of the speaker man, and then shoots at a group of cameramen, agents running away from him, the laser beam of the cameraman machine tries to stop him, but its power is not enough and therefore the infected titan speaker man destroys this machine, then the titan cameraman enters the battlefield, he defends his reactor, picks up a piece of the roof and goes to the infected titan speaker man. In this battle it can be noticed that the titan cameraman fights with the infected titan speaker man not in all his strength. Because of all the equipment that he has, he uses only his hands and a magnetic cannon, because his goal is not to destroy the titan speaker man, but to cure him, and it seems like the titan cameraman has taken an advantageous position to start extracting the parasite from the infected titan, when suddenly the titan g toilet appears and interferes with him. The Titan Cameraman goes into a rage and attacks the Titan Toilets. The infected Titan, having gained strength, gets up and charges his powerful guns, 
directing them towards the Titan cameraman, but here we see, how Plunger cameraman decides to personally neutralize the parasite and heal the Titan speaker man, but something went wrong and the infected Titan noticed him and damaged him very much, but if Plunger cameraman did not do it, then the Titan cameraman could have suffered, then we see the battle of the Titan cameraman with the Titan G toilet, and in this battle the Titan cameraman takes the upper hand, thanks to the upgrade, his armor has become more powerful, and the flame from the reactor and the jet hammer make him even stronger, so he easily deals with the Titan G toilet and again flying to the infected Titan speaker man. But then a titanium skibbity spider appeared behind the cameraman with katanas, which he stuck into the Titan cameraman, thinking that this would cause him significant damage, but the Titan simply took the blow on himself and knocked out the mutant. Then the Titan cameraman is trying to infect skibbity with a parasite, but he manages to catch it and eliminate it. Then the infected Titan woke up again and he started attacking the Titan cameraman. Then suddenly TV woman comes to the rescue and helps the Titan cameraman. She penetrates into the epicenter of the skibbity parasite and begins its destruction. The infected Titan tried to remove TV woman, but the Titan cameraman began to hold his hand so that now everything went according to plan and the Titan could finally be cured. Unexpectedly, G Toilet appears behind the Titan cameraman to prevent them but he is distracted by cameraman and camerawoman agents, G-Toilet realizes that he is a loser and flies away until he is finally finished off, then TV woman moves the damaged plunger cameraman, as I assume, to the laboratory so that he can be restored and improved there, but she leaves cameraman's agent in love with her under the wreckage of the antenna, the titan cameraman pulls out the skibbity parasite and destroys it, then the titan speaker man comes to his senses, thanks us for saving him, and then flies away. As a sign that everything finally turned out, the Titan cameraman shows us a like and also goes after the Titan speaker man. From the hidden details of episode 57, I can single out this newspaper, which depicts an unknown person and also the appearance of a secret agent with a mystical green glow. Next, we move to episode 58, the action of which takes place in another location, presumably it could be London. Here cameraman agents escape as best they can, but unfortunately not everyone is lucky, for example, the body of a damaged speaker man agent, but cameraman agent, who is trying to escape from a new skibbity mutant, but he does not have time to do it, so he becomes a victim, then this mutant switches to the operator and heads straight at us, but then suddenly the titan speaker man appears and destroys all the toilets in its path. Further, after a quick destruction, he pounces on another opponent, the camera turns a little and we see our mysterious secret agent again, also with a green glow. In the comments I saw theories that say that maybe this is a reference to a new type of computer agents, but I think that most likely new types of agents will not appear in the series, and there will also be cameramen, speaker men, TV mans, people and skibbity toilet, so most likely this is a device for moving, like Rick's portal gun, from the cartoon Rick and Morty. Further, after the Titan speaker man dealt with the enemy, a new skibbity mutant tries to infect him again, but the Titan manages to catch him and brutally deals with him. Next, the Titan speaker man is surrounded by flying skibbity toilets and fired missiles at him. The Titan withstands the explosion and destroys all flying skibbity toilets, then flies away further. And immediately the Titan cameraman appears, he is shocked that he has no enemies left. He looked and flew after the Titan speaker man and at the moment when the Titan cameraman flies away, we can notice how the green glow of the secret agent goes out and he leaves, the cameraman agents show with a like that they are alright. Of the hidden details, only the Titan cameraman's jet hammer can be noted here, which apparently was not broken in the battle with the Titan G toilet. Next, we move to the last episode of season 19. I already have a detailed analysis on my channel, so if you haven't watched it, then be sure to watch it, but now I'll briefly tell you about it. At the very beginning, we are shown how the operator saves his friend from the skibbity toilet, also immediately at the beginning we see the secret agent again, only this time without a green glow, we have already seen a similar appearance in episode 56 when he was in a destroyed car. Next, we were shown a new skibbity toilet, which has the size of a titan, but it is easily defeated by two titans, the titan speaker man is incredibly fast, and the titan cameraman is incredibly strong. Titan cameraman shows a like to titan speaker man saying that they can easily cope with their common opponents together. Next, the titan speaker man turns, the operator turns after him and we see the return of the agents of the speaker men, they have a slightly different look, but we'll talk about this a little later, apparently they were not destroyed as we thought earlier, they hid very well and were afraid to appear in front of the infected titan, 
because they thought that they will face the same fate as other agents of the speaker men. They dance their legendary dance, this dance, as I understand it, is the same as the like of cameraman agents, it means that everything is fine with them and I am also very glad that the two races who helped each other have come together again. The Titans felt this pleasant and friendly vibe and legendarily shook hands. This ends season 19. This is the end of the analysis of the second chapter. If you want to see the analysis or a brief retelling of the first chapter, then let's collect 5000 likes on this video. And also watch my new videos, because right now there is the third chapter of the Skibbity Toilet series.